Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today is October 24th, and just today, Samsung has pushed off a brand new update and version of GoodLock. Now, this one's mostly just given the support of a lot of these modules to work with Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13, because that was also just recently launched. Now, I've already made a bunch of videos about Samsung One UI 5.0 as I was a part of the beta program. I talked about all of the different updates, but I'll go through, condense it all into one video for you a little bit later on, but not only did they update a lot of these modules to make it work with Samsung One UI 5.0, they also added a brand new module that is called Camera Assistant. Now I have this one downloaded and so we're going to go through and we're going to see exactly what it does. You can go through the store, you can read about it, you can see that this one was added and updated October 24th. You can actually just tap on it itself. It'll give you a whole bunch of different settings to change when it comes down to your camera. So this is again just called Camera Assistant. Assistant. So now I'm going to show you where you're able to download GoodLock. Now this one is region specific, so there are some countries that GoodLock is just not able to be downloaded. There are some that found success of just using a VPN to look like they're located somewhere else to download GoodLock, but you want to go inside of the Galaxy Store. Now once inside of the Galaxy Store, on the very top right hand side, just search for good lock. Now, once you find good lock on the very top, you're going to see this icon here, which is download and install. Once you get it downloaded and installed, then you're able to find it through your application tray. Now, for me, I place a lot of my Samsung applications in this one folder here. So everything is in one spot. You know, the Galaxy Store, BXB, Good Guardians, Good Lock, things like that. Once you open up Good Lock, you're going to have two different tabs on the bottom. This one's going to show you all of the Good Lock applications. You can expand all of these ones if you would like to read what they do. You can actually take a look at some of the images. So you can tap on it, see exactly what you're able to do with some of these before you actually get them downloaded. So again, you can have them expanded or not. And then you have Life Up. This is just the, basically it's still within the family of GoodLock, but it's just located in a different spot. So this one application gives you multiple modules that you're able to download and basically customize your phone. And then here is that brand new module. Now this one was listed on the very bottom. This was the last one there that was called Camera Assistant. And once I have it installed, it's gonna be on the very top. Now for a lot of these ones that you already had installed that there's an update, you're gonna see the little update button. Now for the modules you don't have downloaded yet, you just have that little download icon. So this way, if you'd like to get them downloaded, you are able to. So if you go inside of this update button here, we'll take a look at this one. This is the One Hand Operation Plus. This one was updated October 24th. And really for most of these, for what is new, uh, they just make it work for Samsung One UI 5. So they fix the theme color issue in Quick Tools. They added mobile hotspot function to Quick Tools. They fixed the split screen uh, in issue in Samsung One UI 5. So we can just go through, we can get that one updated. And then for Sound Assistant, let's just go through and update this one. I think this is really fun to play with. You can change the notches. So if you change your volume, instead of it changing by 10, you can make it change by five. So you can really get you know low key really into exactly the, the volume you want. Uh, here it is again, uh, you know, updated October 24th for what is new. It just says TOS compatible processing. So really that just means it's updated to the latest, you know, update for Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. Uh, so now we're gonna go back inside of Samsung One UI 5 because a lot of these have been updated just to make it work for Samsung One UI 5. Now there's a few of these that haven't been updated just yet. Some of these towards the bottom are, you know, updated a few months ago. One of them was updated last February. There doesn't need to be another update. Um, but when you go through, you can update some of these ones if it has an update option. But let's take a look at Camera Assistant because I'm not gonna go through every single one of these and just let you know, oh, it's updated for One UI 5. Oh, it's updated for One UI 5. Oh, it's updated for One UI 5. Let's take a look at Camera Assistant. What exactly is this brand new module? So for this brand new module, when you get this one added in, the cool thing about this is that you can also see it within your camera settings. So once you get the module downloaded, when you go inside of settings of your camera and then you actually scroll on down, one of the options that has been added is camera assistant. And that is what you just downloaded from GoodLock. It's all built within 
all made from Samsung, so it's able to seamlessly all just cohese and live together. So you have auto HDR. You can capture more details in the bright and dark areas of pictures and videos, uh, so it'll automatically turn on for you. Here you can turn it on to soften pictures. So you can smooth out sharp edges and textures in photo mode pictures. Um, for auto lens switching, let the camera pick the best lens based on the zoom, lighting, and distance to the subject. Video recording in photo mode. So if you touch and hold the shutter button, uh, inside of photo mode, it'll actually start recording the video. Now this one's pretty fun, number of pictures after timer. So when I tap this, it's normally always one. So when you go inside the camera and you tap on the timer, it always takes one picture for you. What you can do is you can make it take three. So how about we go inside of the camera and I'm gonna show you this option right here, that number of pictures taken after timer, because sometimes you might take a picture of maybe your family or maybe there's a leaf that's gonna come down and in one of those pictures it makes a perfect image if it's just a second later, uh, or maybe someone's making faces, whatever the case may be, someone blinks, someone sneezes. So we're inside of the front facing camera here. All I'm really gonna do here is, let's see, we're gonna take a picture here. So we got the timer on for two seconds. I'm gonna hit the shutter button, the countdown of two, it's going to take a picture. Here we go. I'm going to put my, my finger right there and another one right there. So what's going to happen now is when you go through, you're going to see all three images. Now it's going to be very, very dark. I am actually looking directly at a very bright light. So everything else around it is going to be dark, but you can get the concept. If you're in a really good re regular lit room, taking a picture of your family, you're going to have three pictures taken just because you have that timer set up. So it's pretty cool that they did add that little option in faster shutter. So you can speed up the shutter by capturing fewer frames. Frames, this may decrease the picture quality. So if you want it to capture faster, you can do this option here, but I would rather care for quality more than, than quantity. So I'm gonna keep this one turned off. For the camera timeout, you can have it set up for two minutes, one minute, five or 10. So if you have your camera, you know, openly up, uh, you'll be able to maybe put it as like a one minute timer and then just going to shut off the camera for you and then clean preview on HDMI display. So when you have this one plugged in, it'll show the camera preview without all the settings or the buttons on HDMI connected uh, displays. So if you want to plug this one into a TV before you take pictures or into another monitor, you're not going to see all of these things, you know, all of this stuff on the display, you know, you really don't need to have it. You just want to see what you're taking a picture of. So that's it for the camera assistant. This is the brand new module that was added into Goodlock just today, October 24th. Honestly, the couple of them that I like the most, I mean, I've never really played too much or experimented with that much of the auto lens switching to figure out the best zoom for lighting and distance to subject. Haven't had it long enough to test it out, but I like the number of pictures after timer. So you can have more than just one. Uh, and then also to the timer itself of the camera. So if your, your phone's timeout is like five minutes, but the camera will shut off after a minute. So that's one way to actually save you a little bit of battery. So that's pretty much it of everything I wanted to cover for good luck. We could go through a bunch of these ones here, you know, for theme park, we can take a look to see what was new. Again, this one's updated October 24th. Uh, you have the, the support for Samsung Winnie Y 5.0 for theme support and then improved quick panel bright bar customization. So this is just a way you're able to customize your phone, uh, you know, have a different theme for it in different areas. You can change the theme of the keyboard, change the theme of everything you see up over there. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. I just like the fluidity going between all my phones looking very similar. So I don't have to go through, you know, theme park to change everything up again. Uh, some of these are updated on October or uh, yeah, today, October 24th. Some of these was updated a couple months ago and then some a little bit more than that, but you can go through, take a look at what is new for the 24th update, which is today. Mostly all of it was for Samsung One UI 5.0 that was just launched. You can see it actually right here, available in One UI 5 based Android 13. That's really the only difference for clock face. Uh, nothing really else added new, but a lot of good things to take a look at. If you're a big good lock user, go through, update all your modules and take a look at that brand new one called Camera Assistant. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.